Hi everyone, welcome to today's Daily Touchpoint. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Elizabeth Ciccone and I am on Kids Church staff. I am so excited to kick off Daily Touchpoints today as we start the book of Numbers. And before we start, I just want to take a quick look back at the books of Exodus and Leviticus, which come right before Numbers. It, to put it simply, is the story of Moses. Early on in Exodus, we learn who Moses is. We learn that God is going to call him, equip him, and really walk with him as he helps bring the Israelite people out of their captivity and slavery in Egypt and into this promised land that uh, God has said that he has set aside for his people. There are some really mighty acts. We see God speaking to Moses from a burning bush. We see God parting the Red Sea. We see him give his people the Ten Commandments. We see him just walking with them through the wilderness as they're making this journey out of slavery in Egypt. And the book of Leviticus gives just a ton of laws and guidelines for these people, the Levites, who God has already decided are going to be set apart uh, from the rest of the Israelites. They are going to be the people that are going to work in the tabernacle and in the temple. They are going to kind of serve the Lord in that way. Which brings us to the book of Numbers, and I want to read from you in verses 2 and 3 of the first book, of, the first chapter of Numbers. The Lord is speaking to Moses in the wilderness, and he says, Take a census of the congregation of the people of Israel by clans, by fathers' houses, according to the number of names, every male head by head, from 20 years old and upward, all in Israel who are able to go to war. You and Aaron shall list them company by company. So they start counting and organizing, and we see that the tribe of Reuben has 46,500 men. The tribe of Simeon has 59,300, and on and on it goes until we get the total number, uh, which reads 603,550 men eligible and able to go to war. So I just want to point out two things for us uh, for this first book of Numbers. The first is promise, and the second is preparing. If you think back to Genesis 12, verse 2, we recall that the Lord spoke to Abraham, and he said, Abraham, I promise to make of you a great nation. I'm going to make you so great that it's going to be like the stars in the sky or the sands on the shore. You're not going to be able to count them all. That's how great your family's going to be. And we see in the book of Numbers as they're counting these people, and these numbers, remember, only refer to men. It doesn't even count the women and, and children. We see that God is already keeping his promises. He already is making the nation of Israel great. He's adding to their numbers. They've been fruitful. They've multiplied. So we see that God is a promise keeper. He has kept his promise. And then that second thing, prepare. We see that they're saying, count the number of men that can go to war. I don't think that's a mistake, that, that that's how the Lord phrases it to Moses. They're preparing for something. Maybe it's going to be war. Maybe it's going to be adventure. We don't know what exactly they're going to encounter in the wilderness. But what we do know is that they are going to be in the wilderness. That's literally what the name numbers in Hebrew means is in the wilderness. And we're going to see the story of God's people continuing to travel and carry out this fulfillment of this promise that God has made to his people. He promises them, you're going to get this promised land. There's a place that I've prepared for you. But we see over and over again that it's sometimes hard for the Israelites to get all the way there. And so I want to encourage you to lean in to this book of Numbers. Lean into what the Israelites do and also to what they don't do as they are in this wilderness season. And for any of you who feel like, Elizabeth, I'm in a wilderness season myself right now, I want to encourage you, there is an end to the wilderness season. God's people, as they are traveling through the wilderness, he doesn't leave them. He's not far. He's not distant. He does not abandon them. He is there with them, fulfilling his promise to bring them into this land and this future that he has for them. So if you find yourself in a wilderness season today, I want to encourage you, 
to lean into God, to pray to him, to call out to him, to allow him to enter into wherever you are because he is there with you in the wilderness. And he promises that there will be an end to that season. And we know that God keeps his promises. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for this daily touch point. I hope that you have um, a great rest of your week and that as we continue through the book of Numbers, you see over and over again that this God that the Israelites serve and the God that we serve and worship is a God who keeps his promises. Thanks, everyone.